Welcome back. It is time for our weekly talk back segment with San Luis Obispo County leaders. And today we're talking about residual damage from the winter storms. Rachel Dion, emergency services coordinator, joins us live via Zoom. Rachel, thanks for being here. In some cases, uh, we're talking about events that happened more than four months ago, but people are still needing help with FEMA or SBA loans. Is that the primary purpose of setting up shop in Templeton? Yes, for residents or businesses whose facilities or homes were damaged during the storms or who experienced loss of income during the storms, they can go to the Disaster Recovery Center in Templeton and it provides that in-person assistance um, for those needing to register. Sometimes going through the applications on the internet can be very confusing for people. So this allows you to have that in-person experience where they can walk you through the applications or follow up on an application that you, are, you already put in. Um, but you can also apply online as well. Damage wasn't just in one area, we understand. The county set up multiple disaster recovery centers. Templeton is not the only one. Yes, we had a disaster recovery center open last week in Oceano, and then this week it is in the North County because we had damage throughout the county. So we wanted to pick locations so that our South County residents wouldn't have to drive too far and the same for our North County residents as well. What's the process when people show up, if someone may be watching now in the Templeton area and they had some setbacks from the rain, uh, if they come and see you, what's the process like for them to get help? They come to the Disaster Recovery Center, they're greeted at the door. Um, they fill out a quick questionnaire detailing kind of what their experience was, what their damage was, and then they're directed to the appropriate people within the facility. We have both FEMA there and the SBA that can both provide financial assistance. FEMA can provide cash, they can provide grant, they can help pay back your rent. Um, and then the SBA provides uh, low interest loans for both business owners and homeowners as well. So they work with you to see which services would be best fit your situation. And at this point, what is the bulk of the problem that you're hearing from local residents? And do you have some numbers you can share with us? How many people have come to you so far for help? We've had about 250 people come to us for help so far that were affected just from the February and March storms. Um, some people's homes were affected in both storms and they had just finished, you know, repairing from the January storms so until home was hit again. Um, and then we've given about um, $188,000 um, of aid so far. So compared to January, when we saw over 2,000 people apply for assistance, the numbers are still low. Um, I think less people experience damage in the storms, but it's still a great opportunity for those that did to get some financial assistance. Right, and the deadline is looming. Mm -hmm. yeah. e end of the month, July? Yes, so July 20th is the deadline to apply online, either at disasterassistance.gov or you can go to our recoverslow.org website and we have links there to all of the resources and websites to go to to apply for assistance. Um, but our disaster recovery center will be open through July 1st. If you want that in-person assistance, then you can still uh, apply online through July 20th. Okay, Rachel Dion, we'll post this interview and some more information and links on our website as well. Thanks very much.